Which one's the faster one between both? Okay, there we go. I did have to unplug the iPhone 10. That one was still charging, but now they're good now. So let's go ahead and open it up. All the apps are clear in the background. Let's do phone calls, three, two, one. Okay. Now, one thing I want to note too is that the gesture-based design on the iPhone 10 is way better than the home button design on the iPhone 8. So even if the iPhone 8 may be faster sometimes, the iPhone 10 is going to seem faster because just look at this. If I hop out of an application, it is a much quicker experience on something like an iPhone 10 than on the iPhone 8. Mm, clock, three, two, one. I do think the speeds are probably going to be roughly the same. Settings, which are going to have camera, three, two, one. Okay, kind of the same thing. Photos, three, two, one. Again, the iPhone 10 was the faster one there. Hopping out of these two. Now, they're on the same exact version of software as well. Hopping out of this one. We do have some of these third-party applications we can probably just get into. I do want to try Genshin Impact. Now, this is a big game. Three, two, one. So what's going to happen here is I'm just going to wait until they get into the main panel. Again, like I said, this is a pretty massive game, so we probably should expect some differences here. I would probably say the iPhone 10 is going to be the faster one again. But even then, I mean, all you're getting is an additional gigabyte of RAM on the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 8. They are the exact same chipset, exact same core speeds as well, so it's not even like there's a big difference there either. So that's actually a pretty interesting thing. We do have Roblox, which I don't even think I have here, so we'll just skip that one. We'll get into some of these other applications. We can try Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. Now this is a kind of like a big game, but not really. It's just the loading speed kind of takes some time. So there can be some pop-ups that come up, so I'll be sure to kind of click out of them if they do pop up at all. And this one did have it a little bit. But even then, it was like just a split second and even if we give it like a two or three second delay, I mean, you're still getting it onto it faster on the iPhone 10 by quite a bit than on the iPhone 8. So again, that pop-up came up, but it's still faster, I would say, on the iPhone 10 than on the iPhone 8 there. If we go and click play, I kind of messed up on between both, but you can see the iPhone 8 glitched up a little bit. I mean, it glitched up quite a bit on the iPhone 8, and hopefully you can see that over the camera. Hopping out of these two applications, let's go and get into something like Quizlet 321. Okay, iPhone 10 again is the faster one. Hopping out of here, we can go into Snake vs. Block 3, 2, 1. Now, I didn't think the RAM would actually cause this big of a difference, but it's looking like it probably is. And I seem to forget about that because nowadays our iPhones have six, you know, four gigabytes of RAM. So it has twice the amount as the iPhone 8, which is pretty wild. We'll do one more. We'll do something like Twitter, 3, 2, 1. But I think we kind of get the idea. The iPhone 10 is clearly the faster one here, except for that application, but I was logged in here, so... However, I was logged in on to my iPhone 10, so I guess it's kind of a little bit of a difference you're going to get there, but ultimately the iPhone 10 is probably the faster phone when it comes down to it.